Hi folks, it's Moz here and I thought I'd do a bit of an update and the story so far of this Pucker Lamborghini Aventador that I'm building. So when the box turned up, I was like, wow, it's a huge box. But realising that this 1 to 8 scale build is going to be massive. And I felt that the only way I could do it justice was to just basically live stream the build. So there's the central console all put together. And at the moment, I think I'm on part five of the build and I think there's gonna be more parts. And I've done roughly around 20 hours worth of building on this particular kit. But what a kit. Now in the live streams, you will see some of my frustrations. You will see some of the joys. You will also see the bits that's made me happy, the bits that make me sad. But I thought the only way I could really emphasize what goes on in or what goes into one of these builds is to live stream it so you can see some of the the way that it fits together gloriously in some places and the way that your hands hurt from having to screw in all the screws now this isn't a kit for the faint-hearted like i say it's one to eight so it's extremely detailed for what it is but be prepared for some blood, sweat and tears. And I mean blood, you know, I've stabbed myself with a screwdriver a couple of times already, but it is what it is. It's an incredible, interesting build. I would like to see the instruction manuals, uh, the instruction manual to be a bit better as it's very blocky. It's almost like exploded view. And there isn't like a step by step. There needs to be a little bit more close up I, w I was said that even if the pictures or the process was on one page or one part of the process was just on one page, so it's able to, able to see where the pipe work goes would make it an easier build. But honestly, the engine detail looks absolutely fantastic. And there's so much scope. I'm building this out, out of the box, but there is so much you can do with this kit. You can spray up the engine. You can do the exhaust. You can put oil stains on it. You can weather the inside of this to your heart's content. The detail on the inside, inside where the seats are, the seats have this foam, foamy kind of uh, texture to them. And, you know, it just looks great. I'm thoroughly enjoying the build. The weight of it, it feels luxurious, you know, with all that die cast. The engine is plastic. Um, you are screwing in hundreds of screws. You are using uh, super glue to glue things together. You can also use uh, Tamir Extra Thin Cement or your normal poly, your, uh, your polystyrene cement if you need to. There's, you know, basically, if you're a scale modeler, you could build this straight out of the box. If you were not a scale model builder, um, I would suggest some extra tools. Make sure you have a good quality set of PH1, PH0, PH00 Phillips screwdrivers to hand as well. Um, make sure you have a decent set of sprue cutters, uh, uh, some sort of sanding stick just to sand down some of the edges. And basically you will be on your way. Just follow the instructions, take your time, be prepared dry fit as you see what i was doing on a lot of the build i was dry fitting first there was one bit which i followed the instructions a little bit wrong and i had to unscrew a bit to get a bit in but these things are sent to try us they sent to improve us and i think once you've built your first poker scale model kit you will be hooked because i certainly know i'm hooked at building these um, scale models. The, part, the problem I've got is just the size of it. Where am I going to put it to? But yeah, you can see here that it just looks absolutely gorgeous. There's some lovely detail. There's some finesse to it. So, would I recommend this sort of kit? Yes, I would. It, it, if you fancy building a car, this is, or an automobile, a big automobile, then this is a way of doing one it's, it's fantastic it feels luxurious it's metal it's plastic you're intermingling all this together to create a vehicle one eighth of the size of the original beast now for me as a scale modeler 
I don't normally do cars. I've been brought up with military. I like the Cold War jets. I like military vehicles. But that's because most of the time when I go to a model shop, that's what's on offer. It's very rarely I, I see a car that I fancy. I'd like to do all the, you know, the weird and wonderful, I should say. And that's basically where I'm at. But for the first time, will I, will I build another poker kit? Yes, I would. I really would like to have a crack at another one. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It is a one to eight scale model kit that you can sit down and you can do what you want with these kits, really. I'm building out the box, but if you wanted to do the engine, spray up the engine, put a few oil stains in, you can do what you like. It's amazing. But if you fancy having a crack at this or want one, then I recommend that you click the link in the description box below and in the comments. And if you use the code MOS10, that's MOS10, in the checkout, you will get an extra 10% off this bundle. It is a bundle. It comes with the car and it comes with the display case and you'll get 10% off that deal. But click the link in the box below. Please join me in the chat on the live stream because I do like to chat with people. Normally I have a, a podcast on or I have one of my favorite YouTubers on like, uh, like uh, Matt from um, Model Minutes or Sully or, um, or Alex from Man's Model Moments and also uh, Wayne, A World of Wayne. And I want to thank him for giving me some really good tips on building this Pucker scale model. That's really all I've got to say. I'll leave some pictures in the at the end of the video of uh, of the build so far, and uh, I will see you in the live stream. And I'll also do one more video at the end when I do a final reveal. But until then, see you in the live stream. Cheers. <laughs>